Well, hello ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to this latest video. We've just had a, an error pop up on connecting to MySQL, and it happens with MariaDB and MySQL, and it's the uh, server time zone value error. Now, you could have a, a number of different values for the value, but this will fix all of these problems. So. Let's have a look first of all using XAMPP and MariaDB. Here we have NetBeans and I'm in the Services tab and I'm trying to connect MySQL. So if we right click on MySQL, click on Connect Using, I've got the, the driver installed and so on, so I shall just type in my password and if I press Test Connection you'll see I get a, a big error and if I'm lucky enough it should actually pop up and you can see there's um, <clears throat> a rather large error but the important thing is it says server time zone CEST it doesn't really matter what the time zone is it'll say anything there depending on what your time zone is and you, you just can't continue so how do you fix this? first of all in XAMPP that's really very easy because what you need to do is run make sure the XAMPP is running and highlight the MySQL database click on configure and then click on open conf file and of course accept the fact that it could cause problems now in this file you want to scroll down a little bit just to this area here, the MySQLD section here. And you need to add a line, and it very much depends on what your time zone is as to what line you're going to add. Okay, now here I'm just going to add in my time zone. Okay, so I've put in default underscore time underscore zone equals plus one okay so that is my time zone you would put in your time zone value so if you're in GMT you'd put in zero for example on that okay now you just need to save this and you now need to restart your MySQL database so that it reads in the file and once that has restarted okay once that's restarted so we'll just minimize that we will use connect using once again put in my password and this time I'll test the connection and you can see connection has succeeded so I can go to next and next and finish and so now I actually have a connection for MySQL and you can see that if I right click on it and click on properties okay you can actually see that the URL is set and everything is working okay so that's how you do it with MariaDB working with XAMPP so what would you do if you're just using MySQL on a standard system? Well, the first thing you need to do, and I better bring this over, is you need to go to, you need to go into your Etsy, your ETC folder, which is in the file system. Come down to MySQL and mysqlconf.d and then you need to edit this file now if you try and just edit this file like it is you'll find that it is read only and so you can't actually edit it so what you need to do is you need to make sure that you can actually type in so if you've got this form you need to change that and come to the beginning and just type in admin colon double slash no spaces and press enter it'll ask for your 
password which you enter now if you double click on it it will ask again for your password but now you can edit this file so again all you have to do is enter your time zone okay and that will work right but there is actually another way you can do this if you wish but this is the best way you can see I can save this it's not set as read only so I shall save that and now that will work on MySQL you need of course to do your service restart you will use let me just bring it across okay so you'll need to do a service restart so the service restart is sudo service mysql restart and you'll need to enter your password and it will take a second or two to restart and there you are it's all up and running okay so that's how you do that so if you get the the error and let me show you what that error is okay so it's a NetBeans server time zone connection error and that was the actual error message I received because that's Central European summer time okay which of course represents more than one time zone which is why it's causing the problem that's that I hope you find this useful and we'll see you next time thank you for watching please like and subscribe